in this lesson, we're going to be talking about a thing called the shelf. What do I mean? Imagine you've got a shelf here, okay? I'm going to make a nice high back cast. Look at my elbow traveling along that shelf, scribing this flat shelf. It doesn't come off the shelf like this, and it doesn't go underneath the shelf like that. Make a nice high back cast. I come along the shelf, and at the very last moment, I drift up and out to increase my stroke length. We know what that's about. But let's have a look at the shelf in more detail. High back cast along the shelf, drift up, and then I'm going to come back on the shelf, bring my elbow back on the shelf, into the forward delivery and close the angle. So for 90% of the casting stroke back and forward, my elbow's on a shelf. Now I can transpose that shelf. The shelf can be down below here if I want. In a side cast, it can be there. But you'll notice that the shelf, I stay on the shelf until the drift at the end. You see that? Or the shelf can be here. I can be wading in water, pick up, drift, back onto the shelf for delivery. It can be up here if I want. I could be really, I don't know, in a, a really extreme situation where I'm gonna pick it up, drift up, back on the shelf, into the forward delivery. What we're trying to uh, avoid is doing this windscreen wiper movement, which you often get people fly cast like that. Okay, now look at the, my, my elbow coming way off the shelf. It's very rare that you see somebody doing that, dipping below the shelf. Most people tend to do this windscreen wiper, this coming off the shelf like this. There is drift at the end of the shelf. Here we go, here's a shelf. Scribing on that shelf, and then we drift into that. Okay, this movement here. We're going to be talking about drift in the next tutorial.